He's what they call the strong, silent type. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earth Rise Deluxe Class, Alicon! So here we are. And there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Earthrise for Cybertron Transformers. On the side of the box, you have the lovely Earthrise artwork. On the side of the box, we have some nice artwork of the Alicon himself. He is a deluxe class, a class of deluxe, a deluxe class, and a class of deluxe. Oh, up top, War for Cybertron Trilogy. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and my god, the color palette was so different in the original version. But hey, it is what it is. But, of course, we do have the uh, the insert here with the map piece, and we get the little decoder for it. And what do we have here? We have we have uh, Junkion and... What is that? Gai Gai Gaiganchon, Gaiganchion, Gaiganchion, and all that stuff, and a bunch of red lines. And there you go. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have the Alicon, the Quintesson Alicon. That's his official full name, but it's the Alicon. Um, the little minions here, the little henchmen of the Quintessons. I haven't found the Quintesson yet. I'm still looking for a Quintesson, haven't found him yet, but we do have the Alicon, and here he is in his Alicon mode, and let's get in closer so we can take a look at that head sculpt. Oh, that's pretty, that's just pretty. See some nice red for the eyes there, you got some purple, and you can see the teeth there, all the teeth are colored, look at all those teeth. Even the inside of his mouth is painted in red. Got the little spikes, the little spikes are, uh, they are made out of rubber, but since they're so short, they're not very flexible, so they're still kind of stiff. Um, his little arms, his little arms are rubber. But going down the back, see how it spikes and whatnot. Um, his hands are just kind of hanging out the back, unfortunately. Um, the instructions tell you to have them palm down like that, which I personally don't like. Me, I just like to rotate them to the side like that. Looks a little bit better. Um, Ideally, it would have been great if the hands could just flip into the forearms and just disappear altogether, but unfortunately, uh, that real estate was taken up by a uh, weaponized report. So. That's the decision they went with, so hey, it is what it is. But yeah, ideally, I would have liked for those hands to just flip in and just kind of vanish altogether, but oh well. But, and got his little spikes, got his little tail, and his feet, you got some gunmetal gray in there. And big old feet. And there you have that. Did I mention he slides? Like Alicons should slide? Hooray for sliding, sliding Alicons. But anyway, but there you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the Titans Return hot rod. With his Wavemates RC. With Megs. And with the Titans Return, no, nah, little Shark So you can see how those two look together. They look precious together. Ah, it's just precious. So there you go. Now, as far as articulation in Murder Gator mode goes, uh, the mouth can open and close very wide. So it can be all like, ah, you can do that. Uh, his little arms, again, rotates. Um, you do have a little bit of waist rotation, but the tail, Eventually we'll get in the way there. On um, the legs, since these are the robot mode legs, you get pretty much full articulation. Forward, you can, <laughs> you can kick himself in the, in the chin. Back, outward, full splits. Thigh rotation, knee bend. Actually knee bend both ways a little bit there. The feet can tilt up and you have your ankle tiltage. So, there you have that. Now, as far as accessories go, um, he just includes his little spear weapon here. The handle done in dark gray. The tip done in a light gray. Got some little spiky spikes right there. And if you want, you can have him holding it in his little hand like that. Hey, okay, thing you can do if you want to do it. Or if you want to store it, there is a slot right there. 
There are these tabs on either side, so you can just store this on his back if you want and have that going on. So hey, it's storage if you want storage. Or hey, if you want, you can just, you know, put his mouth or something. I don't know. Hey, as always, it's yours. Display however you wish. But that is basically it for the Murder Gator mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Release. There you go. Okay. So to begin, what we're going to do is just uh, straighten out his legs like so. Close up the mouth there. You want to come back here and raise up this whole tail and back section here, like that. You want to come under here, flip out this panel, rotate the waist around, and then bring that panel down. And then as you bring all of this down, it will pop his head up, like that. Then you rotate this, and this will collapse onto his back, and cover up the head there. And once you've done that, you just untap his arms from the side of the body. Strain everything out. These little arms just come down. So, second verse, same as the first. <laughs> Before my tongue stopped working. Oh, tab, bring it down, bring that down. And there you go. Very simple transformation. And there you have Mr. Alicon in his robot mode. And he's a good looking G1 y little Alicon here. I like him. Him. He has a charm to him. He's just a little, he's just a little pudgy brute guy. Oh. Yeah. I was getting close here so we can take a look at that noggin. It's a little thin up top. That is. That's soft. Rubber. Right for the eyes. Nice over there for the mouth plate. Get a little bit of purple in there too. Get some silver on the chest. Some more of that purple. Hold on. Looks pretty good. And of course, the legs is what we've seen already. And the back, you know, it's a pretty accurate back. They had the tail right back there, so it has a tail right back there. So, hey, it is pretty much accurate in that regard. This little back piece done in that gunmetal gray, also. But yeah, all in all, looks pretty good in my opinion. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. It can rotate only as much as his uh, hulking shoulders allow there, but you know, you can get some decent movement. If you kind of tilt his head up, you can get a little bit more and be like, where, squirrel, squirt, where is it? What is going, what is going on here? What did, I'm sorry. But you can do that. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. They can move out further, except the weaponizer port is in the way. If that weaponizer port wasn't there, you could probably get some extra outward movement, but that's as much as you can get with that. Um, you do have bicep rotation, 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You get wrist rotation. You do have waist rotation. You move that panel out of the way. Legs, you move forward that far, back, and further. Outward, full splits, thigh rotation. A little over 90 degrees of bend out to the knee, and again, the feet, they can move up all the way, and you get your ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his spear, and again, if you want to store it, you can just store it right on his back, because hey, storage is a thing you can do if you want to, but he should be holding his weapon. That just goes right into his hand, like so, so we can poke, poke, stab, stab, poke, poke, stab, stab, and all that good stuff. And of course, he is bluish compatible. Um, he's not very bluish compatible, but he has some bluish points. He has a bluish point right there on the shin. So you can get bluish, you can get bluished in the shin. Um, of course, you have the ports under his feet. You can plug those in so you can bluish off into space. All that stuff. I don't know. You can plug it into his shoulder there. You can get bluished in the shoulder. I don't know. I don't know. He has a port right there on his back there. You can just kind of get the bloosh. You can do that. I don't know. Hey, it's things you can do. Things you can do. He doesn't have a gun, so there's, 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 there's no, there's no, there's no big old bloosh we can do. There's no, there's, there's no big old bloosh you can do. You need a gun for that. You need, you need, you need a gun for that. You need, you need a gun for the big old bloosh. He doesn't have a gun, so we can't do the big old bloosh. Oh well. But hey, things you can do. And he does have one more other weapon. Hidden back here, we can remove the uh, 
the tip of his tail like that. And he can hold that in his hand. It's a big little slicey weapon. So he can poke, poke, slice, slice, poke, poke, slice, slice, as well as the poke, poke, stab, stab, slice, slice, poke, poke, stab, stab, slice, slice. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of poking and slicing and stabbing you can do. So there you have that. And now for Gumparasut. Here he is with Hot Rod. And with Springer. With RC. With the Megs. And with our little baby Shark Decon. So, there you go. So there you have the Alicon, and I like this guy. I think he's cool. Um, the robot mode looks good, the alt mode looks good. My only complaint is that I wish the hands folded into the forms for alt mode just to clean it up a little bit, but otherwise, I'm happy with him. He's a fun little figure, I quite dig him, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Earthrise toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Alicon. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Ink, be proud. Home in your face. Man, I really shouldn't have skipped breakfast. I told you not to, lad. You're not the boss of me. Whoa, hold on. He doesn't look too friendly. Oh, it's all right. I, I got this, I got this. Bo, weep, grana, weep, ninny. Ah, 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 I am not surprised by any of this.